Hi, I'm Misha Porter, Chancellor of New York City Public Schools, and I'm absolutely delighted to have the opportunity to celebrate your graduating class of 2021. Earning a diploma is always a major accomplishment to be honored, but the added challenges you encountered and overcame during the pandemic make your achievements truly special and praiseworthy. You have lived through two years like no other, and to make it to this point shows your power, your strength, and your resilience. I have been a New Yorker my whole life, and we have never faced anything as disruptive as the pandemic. It threw our lives upside down. It was scary, confusing, and stressful. The familiarity of walking the halls at school suddenly shifted to remote learning from home. All of a sudden, you lost face-to-face -face interaction with your classmates and teachers. Many of us even lost someone close to us or in our wider communities. And yet at the same time, you managed to complete your coursework and requirements to arrive at the moment we are celebrating today. Along the way, you raised your voices, you showed us the power of student voice, telling us how you felt and what you needed. You shared your vision for your educational journey and for the world, demonstrating your ambitions for yourselves and for all of us. And I can admit, you were way ahead of us on some things like technology. You taught us how to use technology in new and exciting ways, and we are grateful. The way you have stood up in the face of this pandemic shows incredible resilience and fortitude that you will be able to draw on throughout the journey that lies ahead of you. And it's how I know you are going out into the world prepared to be the world changers and innovators. If your journey is anything like mine, it may be filled with surprises. I personally graduated from Queens Vocational and Technical High School in Queens. In fact, this year is my 30th anniversary of my high school graduation. And you know what my major was? Plumbing. But instead of becoming a plumber, I ended up following the path of my mom, who was a teacher and my absolute favorite teacher. What I learned from her and my Aunt Brenda, who was my pre-K teacher, was how much of a difference one teacher can make in the life of a student. I also learned that from Ms. Hulak, the English teacher who supported me when I was having my own personal struggles as a 10th grader. I know that each of you can think of teachers who made a positive difference in your lives, both before and during the pandemic. And I'm gonna guess that your family had a little something to do with it too, standing by you in ways you could see and ways that might be invisible to you, but absolutely critical to arriving at this moment. So I hope you will find an opportunity to thank them today because hearing from you will mean so much to them. And I'll just say directly to parents, I thank you. I know how much this day means to you. I've been in your shoes. This is your day too. You may know the poet Maya Angelou, who's my personal hero. I even named my daughter after her. She said words I try to live by, and I think you will find valuable as you go through life as well. Maya said that people may forget what you do and forget what you say, but they'll never forget the way you make them feel. So please keep that in mind, whatever path you take as you move beyond high school, starting today by recognizing the people who made you feel supported and loved along the way. Let me offer one other suggestion. Wherever you may go, strive to do something meaningful to support your community. We have seen and felt how inequality can literally threaten lives in this city. All you have to do is look at a map of where COVID-19 hit hardest. We have seen and felt terrible acts of violence targeted towards our neighbors. You can play a meaningful role in addressing the anti-Black violence, anti-Semitism, anti-Asian violence, Islamophobia, xenophobia, and homophobia that causes harm every day. None of us can be silent or passive in the face of hatred and violence in all its forms. Solidarity is active. It is through our actions that we can create safety and support for one another. I have seen this over and over again throughout my life. There are so many ways to help your community, and this is a moment to begin thinking about how you can give back to yours. So again, congratulations on all you have accomplished. You deserve this day and this celebration. You have earned it. I hope you are as proud of yourselves as I am of each and every one of you. And I can't wait to see what you're going to do going forward. 
congratulations. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for Manhattan Comprehensive's class of 2021. Welcome to the families, to the loved ones, to the friends of the graduates. Welcome to the staff of Manhattan Comprehensive. And most importantly, welcome to our graduating class. It's so wonderful that we can all get together, even though we're getting together in this virtual way. It's still such a wonderful day to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Graduates, you have accomplished something that many of us have not. You are graduating during one of the most challenging times for our school, for our community, for our country, for the world. You have managed to take care of business during a global pandemic and get all your credits for high school in order for you to get your high school diploma. So you are to be commended. This has been an enormous challenge for everyone, but you really have stepped up to the challenge and you've accomplished something. So congratulations for that. I wish you well in all your future endeavors. I hope that some of your future endeavors include going on to school, or getting a great job, getting a promotion, having a family, taking that wonderful trip around the world, if that's what you'd like to do. I wish you all the best, graduates. And I hope that tonight you can celebrate with your family and friends and really appreciate what you've done with your time here at Manhattan Comprehensive. And I hope tomorrow when you wake up, you can feel that accomplishment and that will move you forward into your future goals. Always remember that you have a home here at Manhattan Comprehensive and you can come back, say hello, give us an update on what's happening in your life. Or you could ask for help, whether it be for your career or a future school that you'd like to attend, we're here to help you. So enjoy the day, you deserve it. And families, thank you again for joining us. I hope you enjoy the day as well. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good afternoon, graduates family members, and faculty. I'm very happy to see everyone here joining us to celebrate our June 2021 graduating class. This class is special. They've overcome a challenge that no other graduating class has faced. Certainly no one could have imagined in the June of, uh, well, in the spring of 2019 that our school would be closed for the next three semesters and that students would be learning virtually. But in spite of this challenge, in spite of the many hardships that students and their families have suffered, these graduates before us today have actually overcome and they have succeeded. This in itself is an incredibly important lesson. I hope each one of our graduates can keep in their hearts, can remember 
what it took, what they did to succeed in spite of the adversity and challenges they faced. Because I can guarantee you that you will face adversity and challenges again in future years for other reasons, hopefully not a pandemic. And you're going to have to call upon the same strength, the same strategies that you use to overcome this adversity and these challenges. You're going to have to call on those again to overcome those new adversities and new challenges that you face in the future. So tonight, when you go home, after you celebrate, before you go to bed, take a moment and think about what those things were. Because you will, as I said, be calling upon them again in the future. I'd also like to make another special announcement, which makes you also a very special class, because this is the last graduating class that I will be wishing well. At the end of this year, I will be graduating myself and moving on, I will be retiring. So I did wanna take a moment to thank all of you for being wonderful graduating students, but also all of our faculty members who've worked with me over the past 25 years to make Manhattan Comprehensive as successful as it's been. Uh, and of course, I hope you all as graduates stay in touch with us, with your teachers, come back and visit, let us know how you're doing, and I will as well. So with that, I uh, turn it over to the graduation ceremony and let the fun begin. Greetings to all. I want to thank you for allowing me to address a few words to you today. On behalf of the Adverian students, I want to thank everyone who is here by being part of this very special occasion. I would like to start by thanking my parents for the unconditional support, empathy, and love. Secondly, my teachers, counselor and extended school staff for, for making it easier for us to walk this arduous path, preparing us for an even closer future. Lastly, thanks also to you, the students, for being the perfect copilots on this journey. During all the long years in, a school, in high school, we have lived with many people, teachers and classmates came and went we only had the best memories of them. Today is also a farewell day. In a few years, we will look back and the only thing we will have to hold on to, we will be the our memories and nostalgia. The pandemic hit us hard, and not only for the students, but the whole world. We came to feel strong moments of great uncertainty and fear that will make us doubt the future. But this leaves with two great teachings. The first is that we must love people in life because when we they transition, we only take the memories and the moments with us. The second is that life is about change. We must adapt as our ear is the only way to move forward. The time has come to take charge and trust in what you learn. We have the responsibility to provide the knowledge reserved as an open book and to absorb everything that we have not yet learned. Only in this way will we remain at the top of an increasingly competitive society and of an increasingly cruel world where only the survive, where only the strong survive. Now, hoping for great success, we continue in this new stage of our life because our journey has just begun. Thanks to you all. Dear graduates of 2021, this is Mr. Luen. As a teacher of MC and the HS, 
I am so pleased to see our student graduating in this challenging time. Some might question, why do we make a big deal out of high school graduation? Well, I think it is a big deal. High school prepares you to achieve your future in life, whatever career you pursue. It paves the wheel for real world. According to recent CNN report, thousands of students have dropped out of high school during COVID-19 pandemic. But you, you are different. Despite all the difficulties you encounter and challenges you face, you have not given up. You have focused on your study, made relentless effort in completing all the required credits to graduate. Today, you are graduating and earn a high school diploma. You should take pride in your accomplishment. You have complete part of your life's journey. This journey is not finished yet. You still need to move on. Some of you are ready to go to college right away, and some may postpone, and some may choose other career path depending on your circumstances. But my advice to you all is invest in your high, higher education and obtain a college degree because higher education offers better salary, better income, and better life. So if you do not plan to go to college after high school graduation, I want you to reconsider and find a way to attend college while working, no matter how long it takes. Congratulations on your graduation, and I wish you success in future, in your future. Congratulations, um, graduates of 2021. Uh, I know it was a tough year, and uh, I know that this has made you even tougher, and Congratulations for being resilient. So I want to give you a big A for being resilient, but add a little bit of grit. And I'm pretty sure you're going to be successful. Congratulations from Mr. Farinas. Congratulations to all the students who are graduating today. I know it's been a long road for many of you, and we are so, so proud. Félicitations à tous les étudiants qui reçoivent leur diplôme aujourd'hui. Nous sommes très fiers de vous. Hello, 2021 graduates. It has been a pleasure to teach you over the past few years. Given the circumstances of the past few semesters, many of you have shown tremendous resiliency and determination. I know that these traits will serve you well in whatever you choose to pursue next. Congratulations. Hello, everyone. Mr. G here. I want to say congratulations to all the 2021 Manhattan Comprehensive Night and Day High School graduates. You guys have done a lot of hard work this year. You've been through a lot and you came out on top and you should be very proud of yourselves. So congratulations. Hello, Manhattan Comprehensive Night and Day High School graduates, 2021. Woohoo! You did it! Tremendous job. Here we are on the other side of the pandemic. You guys should be very, very proud of yourselves. We as a staff, your teachers, very proud of you as well. You demonstrated, you learned and demonstrated qualities that we might struggle to teach you in a classroom. Your perseverance, your fortitude, your character, all of these have shown through and we are very, very proud of you. We always love when our alumni come back and visit, so feel free in the next year as the city's health situation changes, please feel free to come back, greet us and say hello as you move on to great things in your lives, college, career, all of the above. We are immensely proud of you and you should be proud of yourselves for what you've accomplished over the last year. So again, blessings to you and your family and congratulations on this big day. 
Hello, Manhattan Comprehensive graduates. This is Miss Anderson, and I just wanted to say congratulations from the bottom of my heart. You have come through an incredibly difficult year with determination, with perseverance, with creativity, and you've made it. You're graduating. So I wish you all the best as you move forward into the rest of your life. Take care, remember us fondly, and if we can help you with anything, please reach out. Congratulations! Hello, MCN DHS graduates. Congratulations, what a year it's been. Nice job. I'd like to share a few quotes from historical figures that you might or might not know to take with you on your journey from this point forward. The first one is from Florence Nightingale, the founder of modern nursing. I attribute my success to this. I never gave nor took any excuses. Don't make up any excuses and don't accept anybody else's. Just get it done. The next one's from Bob Marley, musician. The greatness of a person is not in how much they acquire but in their integrity and their ability to affect those around them positively. Money's not everything. Be good to each other. Help each other out. The next one's from a comedian named Stephen Wright. You can't have everything. Where would you put it? Again, don't care so much about stuff and gathering stuff. Last one. It's from George Lodisi, social studies and special education teacher at MCN DHS. You can do hard things. Remember that when you have to do them. Good luck, everybody. Way to go. Congratulations. And go get them. see you there. Wow, wait, it's graduation day. Congratulations. We are so, so, so excited for you. We are so proud of you. If you can get through your last year of high school in the middle of a global pandemic, we know that you can do anything. You showed a lot of perseverance and determination and grit and hard work. And if you keep doing that, we know that you'll be successful with all of your endeavors that are to come. We're really proud of you again. Congratulations. Make sure that you come and visit and we cannot wait to see, hear about what you'll be doing in the future. Congratulations again, graduates. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you on completing your high school education. You persevered through a pandemic as well as your own individual and personal hardships in order to graduate. As you move through life and face some challenges, I hope that you will remember how strong you are and that you can do the hard things that lead you to success. Congratulations on a job well done. I'm proud of you. I can't wait to see what you accomplish next. Congratulations, um, 2021 graduates. You made it through a pandemic and all your own personal issues. You have persevered, which shows that you can do anything you put your mind to. We're proud of you. We're looking forward to the next chapter in your life. And we'll be here so you can always look back if you need help. Take care and good luck. Best wishes. Congratulations, graduates. We are very proud of all that you have accomplished. I'm sure today will be only the first of many proud, successful moments for you. Be happy, be mindful, and lead with love. Congratulations. And like Bobby and Gladys said, we're here for you and excited to see what life has in store for you. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. Here we are celebrating this historic milestone where you showed up for yourself in ways that you probably didn't know you could. You were able to demonstrate so much focus, drive, determination, resilience, and flexibility. So whenever you start to doubt if you can do something or if something might be too challenging, you graduated during a global pandemic, so let that serve as the reminder that you can.
Okay? So wishing you all the best. Very proud to have all of you represent Manhattan Comprehensive as you move on to the next step um, in your life. I wish you guys the best of luck. Um, may all your dreams come true in the future. It's been a rough semester or year and a half, but uh, you made it. You graduated and now you're moving on to the next part of your journey. So best of luck with that. Félicitations, vous êtes les diplômés, vous êtes arrivés, vous avez passé tous les examens, vous êtes préparés les diplômés. Je vous en prie, c'était notre plaisir de vous enseigner les diplômés, c'était bien passé. Et nous vous dites que vous êtes arrivés au moment que vous allez commencer votre vie au niveau haut niveau. Vous êtes la classe, vous avez de la classe, de la classe de 21, vous êtes la une, l'unique, l'ensemble, vous travaillez, vous êtes la puissance, vous êtes les convaincrés, vous êtes les possibilités. Allez, allez, allez. Hey guys, it's me, Miss Bellinati, and I just want to say congratulations, we're so proud of you. You made it through this year, and we will miss you immensely. Good luck in the future. Congratulations, Manhattan Comprehensive Grads. Hasn't been an easy year, but you stuck with it. It's definitely an additional accomplishment to graduate in 2021. Hope you take some time to enjoy that feeling of achievement before you move on to the next endeavor. Hello, graduates. Um, a big heartfelt congratulations from Mr. Morin and... Tony. Um, really, really well done. You're all extremely hard workers, and especially in this difficult, strange time, I just give you all of my thanks for getting me through this year. We all helped each other through. Congratulations, and I can't wait to see where you all go, what you all do. Right, Tony? Friends, teachers, parents, administrators, and the class of 2021, good afternoon. We have now earned the title of Manhattan Comprehensive Graduates, the place where tomorrow's successful individual will call home. With Ultra's Manhattan Comprehensive Nighting Day High School a few years ago, and today we are here to celebrate our individual and school accomplishments. We are also here to close a wonderful chapter in our lives while beginning a new one. We will take different paths, whether in college or in the work environment, but we are all here for the same reason, to get the paper and ink we need to write our own stories. Kerry Washington once said, your life is your story, and the adventure ahead of you is the journey to fulfill your own purpose and potential. Every person can write their own story. We all have different backgrounds and experiences and probably different life lessons to learn from. Everyone must take advantage of their abilities to make a difference in their lives. We had good and bad times at Manhattan Comprehensive, but I can say that the good times awaited the bad. The combination of laughter, joy, regions, exam stress, and of course, copious amount of coffee from Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks is how I can describe my experience at Manhattan Comprehensive. Coming to Manhattan Comprehensive changed all of our lives because most of us were away from our home countries and this school made us feel like we were home because of its diversity. We were surrounded by extremely patient, kind teachers and counselors who provided us the resources we needed to make a successful academic year. They always made sure we were in a secure and comfortable environment and I'm confident to say we can all agree on that. Before COVID, Waking up every morning was difficult, but staring at a screen all day was even more difficult. We couldn't do it without you, the teachers, and I thank you on behalf of all students. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for our principals, teachers, and the CYD, but also ourselves, because self-motivation is the key to success. With this chapter coming to an end, I'm already anxious to begin the next big thing, which is college. Life is not a book, and we cannot skip chapters. To all of you graduates listening to this speech, some of whom I shared memories with, 
I wish you an amazing future and hope you are ready to begin this new chapter. Unfortunately, we won't be able to throw our caps in the air alongside those we laugh with every day. But I hope that some of you will be able to do so in four years. I wish you the best of luck, best wishes, and congratulations, class of 2021. Jose Aguilar Castro. Alpha Ba. Mohammed Ba. Simone Bahadur Olivia Bala Samintha Balde Dupree Benjamin Elias Keynes Dawkins Ha Lu Cow Yarely Castillo Garcia Bi Chan Chen Yong Lin Chen Chen Ying Jia Chen Korka Dama Berdensky Delholm El Haji Jian Hasanato Diallo Suleiman Diallo Henry Douglas Thamar Etienne Albert Garcia Carlos Garcia Jensi Garcia Ramos Kayla George Julio Jolagaj
mom gay. Armando Guzman Ramirez. Elijah Hernandez. Mauricio Hernandez Perez. Jin Yi Huang. Winifer Jaquez Ramos. Mergeline Jean. Joseph Jean Paul. Song Jiang Chick Kaba Sarah Kali. Lansana Kamara Mawa Kamara Emmett Kiri Alasani Kita Ling Yi Kong Jalaya Larman Chen Chuang Li Ri Lin Justin Lopez Sherlyn Lopez Lakshmi Lorenzo Miriam Maradiaga Torres Tisha McLeod Kathleen Mendez Kevin Montero Naomi Morales Indioli Indom Useno Indom
Jeremy Oliva Arana. Daniela Paredes Rojano. Rose Berlin Pierre. Vladislav Prasilov. Hamda Rafit. Nicholas Ramirez Marin. Christopher Rivera Powalasin. Duane Robinson. Jasmine Rodriguez. Jose Rodriguez Jimenez. Axel Sanchez Ojeda. Amdi Sene. Dmitry Sklyarov. Eric Sobieski. Sumaya Sultana. Fatu Thiem. Benz Tylus. Abubakar Torre. Evincia Vincent. Shanice Williams. Luo Liang Suji Wu. Han Tian Ying Chun Min Zheng Welcome back, graduates. There's one more thing we have to do together before you become official New York State graduates. Make sure you have your graduation cap and your tassel on the right side before I pronounce you graduates. After I pronounce the graduation oath, you can flip your tassel to the left side and toss your cap. That's the custom anyway. So by the powers vested in me by the state of New York, I pronounce all of you graduates of the class of 2021.